Greg and I are on our way to uh, Squamish here to test full testamental free ride. And it's raining. But it's been raining every time we come up here and then it somehow miraculously clears up a bit. So we're hoping it seems to be letting up a little bit. Well, it is holding off, sort of, threatening to rain. And uh, it's pretty cold out here, about 10 degrees. So that's uh, something like 50, 52 degrees. And we're just 12 o'clock. What are we at, uh, 20 minutes or so? 24, 17. Already stripping down, much too warm. Yes, as usual, I've uh, completely overdressed, but last time we did this ride, Craig and I, the second half, we were in the snow. And I was happy I had every bit of clothing with me, so... Uh, 42 miles without any stop, or anywhere to stop, you know, you want some warmth. Just got to the top of, uh... What is that climb called? Uh, roller... Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. Yeah. Yeah, what are we at here for time? We're at 11.08, 12 miles in. Yeah. So. That's actual ride time? Actual ride time, yeah. yeah. And we've been uh, setting an okay pace, slowed it back a little. We were hitting a pretty hard up Jack's Trail for a bit there. Probably the pace I would have done but uh, in the race, but it was a little hot for me today. Yeah, rock and roll wasn't too, too bad. You can hammer that because you know you're going in. What is this one called? This is a, uh, what is this one called? Rob Corner. Rob Corner. That's what it is. I'm telling you, I'm hoping I'm not feeling this way for the race because I'm just not in the cheeriest of moods today. <coughs> so, we got a long climb coming up. I'm going to have to get my head into cyclocross mode. Embrace the pain. The pain cave, James. Welcome to the pain cave. All right, but for now, we'll enjoy this descent. More later. We've come uh, full circle. This is one of the rare places where the trail actually crosses. So as you start the race, this uh, what, what you see ahead of, you, of us there is uh, one of the first gravel climbs. Uh, there's some gravel. You go up through the residential, and then that's that first gravel climb. You come up and pass the entrance here to roller coaster and uh, continue up this trail, which I'm not sure what it is, but we just came bla blazing down it. Um, up to this point, uh, up till basically the top of the power lines, we were thinking how a hardtail is your friend. And this is where when you're soft pedaling and you're on your uh, full suspension bike, and, squishy. and you're, you're relaxing, that maybe you, you make up some of that. Not in speed, but definitely in endurance. Yeah, we got a little rain coming in, but... Just covered three miles in about 10 minutes. So, moving along now. Well, just crossed nine mile bridge. Okay. 219, mile 25.01. We set a pretty good pace up the, up the uh, climb. I'd, I'd be pretty happy if I was setting that pace in the race. Yeah. We'll see how that... It definitely hurt. Coming up here on... <sighs> Ring Creek Rip, I guess they, they call the bottom of this Ring Creek Rip. And uh, not sure I'm looking forward to this climb. It's pretty quick though. Only because I know how hard I'm gonna push myself up it. And it's a rocky, every pedal stroke counts on this climb. Yeah, so it's one of those loose gravel climbs with a lot of rock, so you gotta watch where your pedals go and where your tires go. You don't wanna slip a slip a tire on a pedal because you'll be off walking. Yeah, so. you can you could this climb could be uh ten percent longer if you don't don't take the right lines. Definitely. By well, the top of the rip, which is where we are right now, is uh scary. And for me, it is scary because uh, you're going to have to haul ass 
and there are six inch boulders all over the place. And if you get off line, there's no stopping and you basically go right down the center of the rut where the six inch boulders are everywhere. I don't even know if this bike, beautiful bike, was designed to go down what I just went down at that speed. Craig's bike, on the other hand, it can go a lot faster, so he went faster and now he's got a flat. Do you feel that you were going faster than your first time down it today? Oh, or? Yeah, I knew, I knew it wasn't that bad. This time, I just had to let it go and don't get on the brakes too much, but I must have caught something wrong because clearly I, I flatted. I didn't hit anything hard, I don't think, but, and I don't have a tire better, so I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Unless you have one. Let me check. So far, so far it hasn't been too bad, but... We still got a ways to go. There's there's a killer, do the powerhouse plunge, and then there's actually a pretty significant climb, single track climb, which uh, is gonna hurt. And then the tail end of the uh, blue trail, endo or something like that, you know, it's up and down. So it's it could hurt, it could hurt. And then there's uh, quite a bit of flat at the end, but I'm not, shattered so we'll see I see you practice with your left hand as well as your right that's right how much stuff am I carrying today oh <laughs> a lot as usual because I can't find my spare gloves got my work gloves. Way more water than I'll ever drink. My knee warmers, my long sleeve, bars galore. And uh, yeah, a nice peanut butter sandwich here that Craig made. Well, we just come through the uh, harder parts of powerhouse plunge with minor, minor bobbles and falls. And uh, we just thought we'd get a little bit of trail footage in here. This is a beautiful section. If you get, make it through Powerhouse clean, you're going to be feeling really good right here and enjoying this. So shows how it's done there. Switch back after switch back. How are you feeling? Feeling good. What was our time? 3.40 was our time on the pre-ride. I've got a Charlie horse for my little bit of my little fall where I think I tightened my leg up and it's spasm. But other than that, feeling pretty good. What about you? Who am I kidding? Uh, that hurt. That hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt on the race day. Uh, you know, we stopped quite a bit. Um, Craig was, he was strong today and he kills me on the downhills, so. Um, he'll be under three and a half for sure. <clears throat> He'd be shooting for probably 320. Um, we'll see. It's important uh, to rest before the big day.